Good afternoon, this is Shaman Oracle reading, and I'm continuing to explain the Divine Feminine cards from the 53 cards deck. And the card that came out for Gemini is called Perpetua, the Saint of Authenticity. The Catholic Saint Vibia, Phoebia Perpetua shows us the power of authenticity. Perpetua was a married noblewoman and mother living in the 3rd century Carthage, which is modern-day Tunisia in North Africa. The Roman Emperor Septimus Severus forbade any conversions to Judaism or Christianity, and in celebration of his birthday, many Christians were arrested and Perpetua, along with a pregnant slave named Felicitas, were among them. Those two, who refused to renounce their faith, were sentenced to a public death later on in the arena. While Perpetua awaited her trial, she kept a prison diary, and this diary, called The Passion of St. Perpetua, has become one of the oldest and most extraordinary early Christian texts. At one point in her writing, The Passion, Perpetua describes a visit from her father. He begs her to renounce Christianity, and she asks him, See that pot lying over there? Can you call it by any other name than what it is? And when her father answers, No, of course I cannot, Perpetua continues, Neither can I call myself by any other name than what I am, a Christian. The name Perpetua is derived from the Latin perpetuus, meaning continuous. Even though her father visited her several more times to plead with her to be a dutiful daughter, wife and mother, Perpetua refused to renounce her faith in Christ. And she maintained this refusal to renounce her faith at a time when a woman's social status was defined by her father and her husband. Her prison diary also relates her relationship with St. Felicitas and the class structures of early Christianity. Even though both had very different social standing, one was a noblewoman and one was a slave, they died together as equals and as sisters in that arena. When we find the courage to be true to who we are, there is a vitality that returns to us, a voice both moving and compelling simply because it's authentic and most powerful. St. Perpetua's personal writings in that emotional diary were still impacting the church father Augustine 200 years later. In Augustine's own church writings, there is mentioning of Perpetua's truth and beauty. St. Perpetua is ever since a reminder of someone who chose to remain her authentic self in all circumstances. She remained loyal to her soul and she set an example for others to embrace their own authentic powers. Perpetua also teaches us that journal writing can be a sacred act of returning to ourselves because we go inward to listen to the voice of our soul. So, maybe you start to write a journal, even if it is just to record your dreams each morning. 
The inner voice that creates us when we write is also strengthening our authenticity. That voice becomes a light, a fire that calls us and claims us as we dare to live out its truth. Meditate and ask what is the truest statement I can say about who I am. There is no special flower given to Perpetua, but I think any flower signifying devotion and truth would be perfect. The flowers from a lavender plant represents devotion and tulips represent new life, love and tenderness. Also immortality. So that was the reading about the Divine Feminine Perpetua for Gemini. Thank you for being here, Gemini, and listening. I wish you a wonderful Sunday. And until I have another reading for you next time, when I see you hopefully back, okay? Have a wonderful day and goodbye.